Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today I'm going to be talking about all of the ebooks that I ended up downloading in June. And there are a lot. This is giving me like flashbacks to when I first started doing my ebook hauls a few years ago when I would have like 40 books in a video that I end up downloading for free. Um, because there's a lot in here. Like in the past year, like I've kind of dwindled down my hauls for ebooks like what ebooks I download um because I'm trying to like be more picky about what I choose to download onto my kindle and that's like what the video was gearing up towards until the last day of the month which was uh stuff your kindle day which is like a giant list of ebooks that were all free for one day and I downloaded a lot and so <laughs> now I have 30 books for this video I have not talked about that many books in a video in a very long time. Please bear with me, be patient with me. <laughs> like usual, I'm gonna be talking about the books that I ended up downloading off of KU in the month of June. Um, and then we'll be getting into all the books that I got for free, which because of Stuff Your Kindle Day, I got a lot of them for free. <laughs> um, first though, I wanna mention the only book that I ended up purchasing with my Amazon credits. So whenever I order like a package off of Amazon, I end up like clicking the button that says like, you can delay your package by a few days and we'll give you like a digital credit. And so like, they'll give you money to spend for things digitally. And I was like, I need that for books. So I did acquire a few dollars on Amazon and this new book came out in June and I needed it, okay? And it was $10, but it's an anthology. Um, it's Pride Not Prejudice, a romantic charity collection celebrating the LGBTQIA plus community. And Ruby Dixon has a story in here, I think a sapphic story in here. And so I was like, sold, give me that now. <laughs> um, so let's see some of the authors in here other than Ruby Dixon. Um, some of them that stand out to me are Erica Ridley, Jennifer Ashley, Mila Finelli, Kerrigan Byrne, Sarah Nye, and Amelie Howard. Um, those are just a few of them that I recognize, um, but there are even more stories in here um but yeah i mainly picked this one up because of ruby's contribution to it and ruby hasn't written like a sapphic story before so i can't wait to to read her story in here i haven't picked it up yet um but i need to okay so my ku reads i ended up downloading keep her safe by qb tyler which is her bodyguard romance um i downloaded this before i went to bb because i thought that i would be reading this before I got there, um, but I ended up just buying the book anyway. It's on my shelves <laughs> um, without even reading the book, which that's the only book I did that for at BB. Um, so, <laughs> but I'm a lover of bodyguard romances. I've never read anything by QB Tyler um, because nothing has ever really like interested, interested me that she's written. Um, but when she said she was coming out with a bodyguard romance, I was like, I will be picking that one up. Yes, please. So I know nothing else except this is a bodyguard romance and I can't wait to read it. Then I also downloaded Lessons in Corruption by Jonah Darling on KU in hopes I would read it before Book Bonanza. That ended up not happening, <laughs> um, but I did bring my physical copy and got that signed as well. Um, but this is the first book in her Fallen Men series, which is her uh, like a motorcycle club romance series. And I have read Welcome to the Dark Side, but I wanted to go back and read book one, um, which I think this one is a student teacher relationship where the heroine is older and the hero is the son to the motorcycle club president Zeus who I do know about in book two um and I know people really love this series this couple isn't people's like favorites necessarily but I do want to go back and read the series in order the next two novellas are books that I ended up reading in June so you can go check out my June wrap up if you want to know my thoughts on these but I ended up reading Crow by Lila Faye which is a monster romance with like a crow shifter creature who's also a stalker. It was a fun, interesting read. Then I also read The Mobster's Masseuse, which is a short Jessica Kane novella. And it's about our mobster hero uh, falling for his masseuse and kidnapping her. So they were both like stalker kidnapping romances, um, which are always fun to read. And then the last book that I downloaded off of KU in June is Dear Diary by Cassie Mint. Um, I downloaded a bunch of novellas in preparation for Book Bonanza because I did not see myself reading a full length book while I was there. And so that's why I read those previous two novellas. Um, so Dear Diary is just a Cassie novella that I've never read before and I haven't read it. I did not get to this one and I don't know what it's about because I go into her books just blind because they're fun that way, they're funner that way. Um, so I don't know what this one's about but I haven't read any of the books in this series, I don't think. 
So yeah, it's just like a fun little palette cleanser when I need it, it will be available to me on KO. Okay, so the rest of the video are all books that I ended up downloading for free. I will let you know if they are still free and if you can get them off of KU. First one that I have is the Ohana Cottage by Megan Rankin. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited. This one's about Mia um, and when she finds herself Fresh off of a breakup and in desperate need of a getaway, she escapes the harsh Minnesota winter and embarks on a solo trip to Hawaii. There she rents an Ohana cottage, the perfect little place to call home for the next month while she recharges and gains clarity on the next steps in her life. John is our hero in here and he's an army veteran dealing with his fair share of trauma from his time in the war. He's hell bent on keeping to himself and shutting everyone out. That is until his new tenant Mia shows up to rent his cottage. Um, she's outgoing, adventurous and chatty. He's broody, quiet and standoffish. Could he successfully manage to avoid her too? Or could she be the only person to finally break down his walls? I love a good grumpy sunshine romance. Okay, next is Second True Love by Vicky J. This is apparently a single dad age gap romance. It is available to download off of Kindle Unlimited. She's completely forbidden. My best friend's little sister, 15 years younger and a short term tenant in my home. So another tenant romance. I'm a man living in perpetual darkness, grieving the only love I've ever known. But Clementine a Hawthorne starts to chip away the decade long ice around my heart. And the more I resist, the more her sweet smiles and heartwarming concern for my daughter bring her closer. Ah, oh, I love me a good single dad. Next is Rain by A.L. Woods. This is a dark age gap love triangle romance, which I'm not a big fan of love triangles, but we'll see if this book can change my mind, okay? I'm always open to trying them, but I haven't been very successful. This book is on Kindle Unlimited, and I also think it is still currently free to download. Okay, so it looks like this is a love triangle romance between Allegra, Dom, and Nate. So this is apparently a standalone romance. It's an age gap and intense love triangle story with a few trigger warnings and dark themes. While it does contain a morally gray hero with more red flags than our female main character knows what to do with, it is a subjectively dark romance. Some readers have found the story to be too dark, others not dark enough. So you can go to the author's website if you want to know more of the trigger warnings, if you want to know them exactly. But this book has me like intrigued. It's like 800 pages, so we'll see whenever I get to this one. Next is Cheat Codes by Emily Goodwin. This is still available to download for free. This is a forbidden romance between Archer and Quinn. Archer has always wanted Quinn, but for whatever reason, I don't know why, he cannot have her, but he's always been denying the feelings that he's had towards her. Oh, it's because that <laughs> Quinn happens to be Archer's best friend's baby sister. Um, and I think they get together for like one night, um, but that one night like complicates everything apparently because she just so happens to become pregnant from it. So I love being a good surprise baby. Like I love surprise baby, accidental baby. I love them. Next is Stolen by Starlight by Sarah Ivy Hill. I read a Sarah Ivy Hill book last month and I saw that this book was free and I didn't even read the summary. I was like, click download because I really enjoyed it. But this happens to be the first book in the Warrior Kings of Ali, Alioth series. This book is on KU if you're interested. So this is the romance between Ada and Lothan. Lothan never expected to find his Alara, which I believe is like their version of Fated Mates. Um, so when he sends her, he steals her. So it's a kidnapping romance. But every chance she gets, she runs back to her captors. And so he's wondering why she's running from him if they're like faded mates. So Ada's a little bit hesitant about this alien warrior because he ends up taking her from this alien auctioning block, obviously. Um, he just so happens to be an alien king and swears that they're faded mates. But all she wants to do is find her little sister. And so the two of them strike a bargain. If he rescues her, she'll be his queen. Next is Duke of Debauchery by Scarlett Scott, which is the sixth book in one of her historical romance series. I saw Scarlett Scott and immediately downloaded it. I love me a good Scarlett Scott book. This is available off of KU. If you're interested, Scarlett Scott is a great author for historical romances that are on KU. So if you're a KU reader and you want to read more historicals, Scott Scott is definitely the way to go. I think all of her books are on KU. This one is about the Duke of Montrose, who just happens to be living 
the debauched life, like the scandalous life. And it's because he's gonna do anything to distract himself from the demons of his past. But then uh, his double may care ways end up leaving his best friend injured. So he completely like ceases that way of life. Our heroine here, her name is Miss Hattie Lethbridge who is very happy being a wallflower. But when her brother's friend, the Duke of Montrose proposes they marry, she's determined to refuse his suit. So I guess this is like a marriage of convenience romance for whatever reason. I don't know why the Duke needs to marry her, but Scarlett Scott just like gets me every time. So I'm very excited about this, but I'm going to be reading these books in order. Okay, I need to pick up the other ones too. Next is The Alien Emissary by Erin Ivers. This is available to download off of KU. Okay, so this is about Bryant and Emissary. Ooh, and it's an alien romance. I think the reason why I downloaded this is because it's a tentacle MM alien romance. And that's all I need to know. That's all I needed to know. <laughs> okay, all the other books in this haul um, are all books that I got off of the Stuff Your Kindle Day. So I got all of these in like the same hour. I was like, click, 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 click. <laughs> So um, next is The Coven of Ruin by TK Tucker. This is available to download off of KU. It is a misunderstanding, a matter of mistaken identity that decides her fate. Though she's committed no crime, Trista has been condemned by the gods to die in their arena, entertainment in the form of slaughter. No longer the bloodthirsty god of his youth, Ares rarely attends the blood gauntlet. But when his father summons him, he's resigned himself to a spectacle he takes no pleasure in. However, the presence of an untrained witch among the prisoners provides a rare opportunity, the chance to irritate Zeus. None have forgotten the blood-soaked history between the witches and the gods, least of all Zeus. When whispers of curious happenings in the witch country reach the god king's ears, he sends his greatest weapon. A threat to Olympus is a threat to Zeus, after all, and there's only one god he sends to crush such in opposition. The world is not so small, nor the fates so mischievous, as to force their paths to cross again. But a life debt owed can't go unpaid, can it? So this is like a slow burn fantasy romance between a heroine who's a witch and the god of war, Ares. Next is Broken Prince, which is an age gap mafia romance by RG Angel. This is available to download off of KU. This one's about Cassie and Luca. Cassie ends up becoming a live-in housekeeper at Hartfield Manor. And her new boss, Luca, ends up fascinating her. Cassie just happens to be the daughter of a serial killer. And she knows that Luca finds himself undesirable and thinks that no one could love a monster like him. But Cassie thinks because she's the daughter of a monster, like who else would be better to love him? Sounds interesting, very interesting. Okay, next book is Breaking the Lover's Curse by Lore Nicole. This is available off of KU. I think that this book reeled me in because it's a heroine who is a single mother to like a baby. I love babies, okay? Ooh, I forgot. Okay, so this one is like a rejected mate story. Andrea was apparently fate mates to Shifter Tress, I think that's his name, um, but he ends up rejecting her. And I think it's because he's also like, like has a curse on him. So he doesn't want to like burden Andrea, but I don't think he knew about the baby. Finding out that she has a baby like changes everything. And so, yeah, it sounds really good. It's a little, little short, like 57 page novella. Next is The Farmer's Bride by Christine Sterling. This is available off of KU. I uh, downloaded a bunch of the books that have disability representation. So this is one of them. Um, Peter in here is disabled after a farming accident. And I think he ends up hiring Elizabeth um, to help him when he needs it on the farm and they end up falling in love. like. This looks like a cringy cover, but it like also looks cute to me. Like I'm actually very interested in reading this one. Next is Thorn by Sky McKinnon. This is currently available to download for free if you're interested. This one's about Thorn who traveled to earth to find women capable to be with his species, but he's sure that no female would personally want him because he feels like he's broken on the inside and the out. But that changes when he sets his eyes on a sassy earth woman with fiery red hair and a temper to match. But he's really struggling with whether he can claim her and bring her back to his planet because if he brings her back to the planet, like 
hit the scientists on his planet will study her. <laughs> um, so Jenny is said heroine and she's trying to make a better life for herself and escape her very abusive ex. Thorn swoops in to protect her from him. Then I have Thorn's Dove by Carlotta Hughes, I think. That's how you say that name. I'm so sorry. Um, this is on Kindle Unlimited and it's actually been on my TBR for a while. So I was like, oh my gosh, I recognize that book. Let's get it. This is about Ruth and Thorn, another Thorn character. I think Ruth is in vacation, on vacation somewhere, and she doesn't expect to bump into um, an orc named Thorn. <laughs> and he is from across the universe who just happens to speak with a Scottish accent, wears a kilt, and is dead set on making her his mate. But she's got more important things to take care of, like completing the renovations on time for this home and keeping a nosy FBI agent at bay. Thorn stays, he helps her, protects her, and shows her heartbreaking patience, thawing her heart even as he heats her blood. She wants him badly, but she's too broken. And the last thing she wants to do is break his heart of gold. Then I have Anna and the Alien by Honey Phillips. I just saw Honey Phillips' name and immediately downloaded it. I didn't even read the summary for this one. Um, this is the first book in her Alien Abduction series, and each book in the series, like, goes on in alphabetical order. So like, I think book two is like Becca and the Barbarian or something like that, you know what I mean? So it like goes in alphabetical order. So the first one is Anna and the Alien. This is available to download off of KU. I think all of Honey Phillips's books are on KU. Then I have Catnapped by the Catman by Jade Waltz. Um, this one has been on my alien romance list on Amazon for quite a bit. So when it was free, I snagged it up. Um, but this is on KU if you're interested. Always the bridesmaid, but never the bride. That's what I'm known for amongst my large group of friends and family. Arriving home alone from another wedding, very much single, not only sucked, but only solidified the fact that I may never find love and that I couldn't even afford to join the wedding party. The space cruise, ooh, the space cruise. It's okay, I've learned to accept my fate in life. All I need is my best friend, Loki, who would never betray me much. Little did I know, my cat had plans for me. Ooh, okay, so I guess they're friends. I didn't expect them to like it be a friend's lover's romance. Next, I have Stranded with the Alien King by Lindsay R. Locks. I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm so sorry. Uh, this is currently available to download for free as of right now. <laughs> this sucked me in and I downloaded it because I found out this is alien like Love Island. Sold, sold. Next I have Demonic Prince by Karen Kinsey. Um, this is currently available to download for free. Apparently this is a fantasy monster romance. Only a monster can claim me. I'm too monstrous to love, a dragon shifter who's never been courted by a male. Dragon slayers hunt me relentlessly and I kill every last man until Rook invades my cave. Oh wait, so the heroine is like a monster creature? I love those, I need more of those. <gasps> I didn't even know that. Based on like the cover, I never would have expected that, honestly. Um, okay, tall, dark, and demonic, Rook alone has the strength to defeat me. He chains me and collars me with magic, forcing me to shift into a woman. I'm vulnerable and at his mercy. Worse, he's an incubus who feeds upon lust and I'm smoldering with barely restrained desire for my enemy. I refuse to confess the truth. I am in heat and soon will urge to find a mate. I am playing with fire, but I'm a dragon. I like fire. I want him, he needs me. How dangerous could one night with an incubus be? Like, that sounds hot, okay? Next is Stealing the Troll's Heart by Leon Riley. This is still currently available to download for free. You know, when I saw Troll, like, I was like, yes, please. <laughs> what does that say about me? That I see like things like Troll and Demon and I'm gonna be like, yes. What does that say about me? Oops. This one's about Telesi, and she has spent her whole life seeking something that other humans simply can't offer her. And it's not until she tries to rob two trollkin that she realizes what she's after. Razjin, the troll, has only ever wanted money. Oh, and the occasional casual lay, apparently. Um, but when he finds himself with a dagger at his throat at the mercy of the redheaded human woman, he discovers a new and very unexpected desire in himself. Talese and Razjin are both haunted by the memory of their meeting, even if such a relationship would be the ultimate taboo. Their peoples are at war and they can't even speak the same language. <gasps> language barrier romance. 
yes. But when they meet in a bar in neutral territory, perhaps their bodies can do the talking for them. I'm very excited for that one, if you could not tell. Next is Shadow of Eternal Flames by Priscilla Rose. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited. 19 year old Primrose is forced into an arranged engagement. She then devises a desperate plan to save herself from a man she could never love. But when she messes up a magical spell, she accidentally lures a plethora of terrifying monsters into her nightmares, as well as the realm. Wow, that's a big issue there, obviously. Okay, Primrose wakes up to find a Jin lurking in her bedroom. And with no options left, she teams up with her new magical bodyguard to save the realm from her mistake. As she faces the monsters, however, she finds facing her feelings may be the greater challenge. Ooh. Then I have Feral by Trish Henrich. Henny Rich. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this is available off of KU. Um, and this is a werewolf monster romance. I think this is like a fake dating one. Um, our hero in here who's like the werewolf has to pretend that Daphne is his mate in order to find the mysterious mystical artifact threatening his clan. But then he finds out that Daphne is his true mate, so things get a little bit complicated. Now every day that he spends with her is a special kind of torture. Her very touch makes his body burn with desires he'd buried a long time ago. He needs to claim Daphne to make her his. But he can't, he won't. She may accept that he is a werewolf, but Daphne doesn't know the dark secret that lurks under his skin. If she did, she'd run screaming. Oh my gosh. I wonder what it's about. Next is Nobody's Hero by Beck McMaster. I saw Beck McMaster's name and just downloaded it. I know she's a great fantasy romance author. This is currently available to download for free still. And then I learned that this is like a post-apocalyptic survival romance. Sold. The last book for this video is Knox by Tasha Black, which is the first book in her alien adoption agency, which babies, aliens, yes. This is available off of KU if you're interested. Okay, the alien adoption agency is going to make all of Luna's dreams come true. At least that's what Luna believes when she boards a rickety spacecraft headed for a frontier moon to meet the child she will raise in exchange for a hundred acres of land and a modest stipend. But what she doesn't count on is the dangerous animals, the short but lonely nights, or the big blue warrior who informs her he is on permanent security duty for the baby. That gives me Mandalorian vibes, just saying. Okay, um, Nox is a proud dragon warrior of the Evitica, dedicated to use his strength, strategy, and endurance to protect his homeland. When his commander assigns him to guard duty for a baby, he resents the interruption of his career. It's bad enough that he's starting to bond with the little whelp, but the instant he sees the child's adoptive mother, he knows that she is his fated mate. Knox will have to deny his desperate craving for the dark haired beauty if he wants to hold on to his chance at redemption. That sounds so good and it is giving me Mandalorian vibes. And I love that. Anyways, there you have it. Those are the very many eBooks that I ended up downloading in June. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a wolf emoji in the comment section down below because we had a few werewolf books to talk about. Anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.